If you could politely raise your hand, Sid, or anybody else that has a question. Gary, why don't you just start with uh, like your typical post game? <laughs> Thank you. That's a good one. I think uh, I think it was a pretty nice night to uh, get to the ballpark and see in the stadium and uh, all of our clubhouse, the whole package, and then get down the field and seeing all of our fans there. Uh, a lot of great moments out there. It was just fun watching the guys out there, and, and it's a beautiful place. And uh, going to be a lot of good baseball played here. Special moment with Jock Jones. I I, I uh, tip my hat to our fans. Uh, we've always known the classic fans of baseball, and they proved it again tonight, and that meant a lot to that young man and, and myself and a few of the people here that were here when Jock first came over. So, And uh, I think a lot of our players were impressed, too. So that was a big moment during the night, really, and uh, it was a fun baseball game. We didn't win, but uh, just nice being out there. Questions? Mark? Michael, you just described your emotions as this day sort of played out uh, through the game and sort of feeling like, does it feel like a road trip to you a little bit, or do you feel like you were... Yeah, I think that's a great way to describe it, a road trip, you know, especially because you're only coming in for two days. And, you know, it's like when you go to play Air League and you're playing a National League game where you've never been to the stadium before. And I, I was probably walking around the stadium or the, the clubhouse in the park for about 45 minutes before I even took off my shirt to put on my BP top. So uh, unbelievable facilities. Um, you know, we, we were up here for Twins Fest, but it's changed so much even in those two months. It's beautiful. Quite right right field. Sid. You didn't get a ball there, did you? I did not get, well, I got a ball, but Denard caught it for me, so. <laughs> um, no, right field, it, it's nice out there. We didn't get to do too much uh, prior to the game as far as caroms off the wall, um, the overhang, things of that nature. We didn't get to do too much because of the rain, but I'm sure tomorrow during batting practice and, uh, you know, when we come back for the homestand, we'll be able to see the the nuances of uh, the way it hops, the bounces, the way the track plays, and things of that nature. Brian? Just in, uh, in terms of a hitting background and seeing the ball and, and against other angles, I know it's only a couple of innings, but what, what came, what's your first impression of both you guys on how you see the ball? Uh, I thought uh, left, left, it was pretty good. Um, right, left, it's like, it'll be easier to tell once we take batting practice. You know, you get to see a few more out there. Um, I know Cuddy had. Uh, he had some different thoughts on it, but I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty good. It's you know anything anything to me is better than the dome. We didn't have any background back there. It was just seats, and you know the depth perception there was a little different. Uh, obviously, it's a new park. It takes a little getting used to, but uh, I thought it was pretty good. So it, it's good. I, I can't wait for the trees to grow a little bit and get bigger. <laughs> um, that was the only thing I could say. Is you know it. it Fastball's up, ball's up to me. We're good, they were in that hitter's background. Balls that went down kind of got into the trees for me. But I see, I think I was the only one that, you know, saw that. Maybe I'm a weirdo, I don't know. <laughs> Joe? Yeah, anything surprise you guys? I mean, you, you obviously have seen the field before. Anything else surprised, whether it was the wind, the way the ball carried, anything like that? The weather? <laughs> no, I mean the weather, yeah. It was, it was 65 <laughs> degrees outside. And, you know, when we looked at this game, you, you never know what you're going to get. We got off the plane yesterday, and it was, you know, 70 degrees at, at 8:30 at night. You know, if you would have, if you would have told us that coming out of spring training, we would have, would have been uh, jumping up and down. It, it was, uh, you know, obviously we got a little rain earlier, but we we played this game and we we're short sleeves out there, and it was, uh, it was perfect. I kept looking around, you know, amazed that this is our ballpark. So, I think the currents, watching around and looking at the outfielders. Uh, looking at the flags going one way and the currents whipping around, you can see at times the pitch around the mound was really getting blown all over the place, but the ball seemed to be truer uh, than the currents were showing. So, and, and that's normally, you know, you see that in like other ballparks in Chicago and so forth. Sometimes the, the wind feels like it's hitting you in the face, and then you hit a ball in the air and it takes off. So uh, that's pretty. Uh, it's different, and that's something a lot to get used to. Sorry, sorry, Lavelle Neal here. Lavelle. Sorry, you know, that's something you mentioned to get from your infield is about how the infield looks. Well, they were fine with it. I, I morning was out there, and uh, uh, we didn't get to take a lot of ground balls out there before we took a little infield. Not as many ground balls as we'll get to take tomorrow, but the surface looked fine. I mean, there was true hops, and it looked like it was staying down, and <coughs> the grass was really good. It was skipping a little bit. It was probably because it was wet, so uh, it looks like a real nice infield. The morning, probably talked about it. Yeah, I thought I thought it was good. You know, it was uh, sometimes you go into some places. Uh, 
Cleveland seems like it's a little bit longer. Uh, you know, you, you know the ones that are long, you know the ones that are fast. Texas usually is pretty fast. And uh, this looked like it was, you know, pretty fair. It didn't look like it was, I don't know, maybe later in the summer it might be shorter. Maybe, you never know. But right now it, it looked pretty good. The dirt was, uh, dirt was great. Didn't get uh, too chewed up. Uh, Maybe because we weren't running around the base paths as much as we would have liked to, but uh, it was it was seemed pretty good. Gene, did you have something in back? No, I he got he got okay. my question. Done. Uh, Justin, is it kind of weird to, to have all the crowd? It's it was almost like a home game before the home game, so you know you, you got all everyone cheering, and was it nice to kind of kind of drive around that way? It wasn't like your typical exhibition. Yeah, it was <laughs> spring training. Usually, uh, you know, six or seven thousand people here. We had. You know, pretty much, pretty much forty thousand people. You know, the adrenaline was going, the excitement was there. You know, the last couple of games of spring training seemed to drag on, but uh, this didn't have that feel of, of, you know, a typical spring game. And you know, we got out there, we we're kind of doing our normal thing in the dugout, getting excited, getting fired up. And you know, from the moment I walked in here today, I was excited. It felt like a regular season game. And hopefully, that'll take some of that some of that uh, extra adrenaline out of it that uh, sometimes is, can work against you as, as a baseball player. And, you know, when we come back, obviously we're going to be excited for the for the real home opener, but, you know, this will hopefully help us settle in a little bit. Did, did it feel in any way like an opening day game? I think it definitely felt like an opening, game, opening day game. Like Justin said, with packed house and, you know, spring training, you're not, at least I we haven't gone and played any other stadium since I've been in here to see that you're – big picture on the scoreboard and you know the balls and strikes in 15 different places and you know lights and cameras and you know all that stuff it, it definitely felt like a, a great atmosphere opening day game definitely did not feel like a spring training game um, which just goes to show you how exciting opening day really will be. Mark. You already even hearing the national perspective it's more of a rhetorical question but saying will the twins lose their home field advantage by leaving the metrodome and you probably heard that already how are you going to evaluate just wins and losses i mean in terms of establishing it how, how is that process going to work in terms of the way the team was built for this field and, and, and uh in now and in the future well you know i've said all along good baseball players can play anywhere and we know the dome was an advantage but it, it was more of an advantage because other teams hated go going there they hated that place and right away they come in there this place. Uh, you know what, you, you go out there on the field and you beat them down. And uh, with our fans, uh, you know, coming to this ballpark, they're going to pack this place and be behind this team the same way. They're what lift your spirits and lift you up during the course of a game. So we're moving over with our fans.